Welcome to Plan Gnome, your go-to channel for productivity tips and digital planning. Today, we're diving into the world of digital note-taking on your iPad using the GoodNotes 5 app or a similar app. First things first, let's set up our digital notebook. Open the GoodNotes 5 app or any other note-taking app you prefer. Create a new notebook and choose your desired template. Since Plan Gnome is all about organization and productivity, I've designed my own digital notes and planner template. It's tailored to help you maximize your note-taking experience. Feel free to customize your template to suit your own style and preferences. Once you have your template selected, it's time to dive into the various note-taking methods we discussed earlier. Whether it's Cornell Notes, Mind Mapping, Outlining, Boxing, or any other technique, you can easily adapt them to your digital notebook. That's it for setting up your digital notebook. Now you're ready to take your note-taking skills to the next level using the GoodNotes 5 app or a similar app of your choice. Cornell Notes It's a simple yet effective technique that can revolutionize the way you organize and review your notes. Let's get started. So, what makes Cornell Notes so special? Well, it's all about dividing your page into three sections. The first section is a narrow left column, used for writing cues or questions that will help you recall information later. The larger right column is where you jot down your main notes, capturing the essential points, ideas, and details. And finally, at the bottom, there's a summary section where you can write a brief overview of the entire lecture or topic. Now, here's the beauty of Cornell Notes. It encourages active engagement during your note-taking process. Instead of mindlessly transcribing everything, you're actively thinking about the information, summarizing it in your own words, and highlighting the key ideas. This way, when you review your notes later, you have a clear roadmap of what's important. When you're studying, focus on the cues or questions in the left column. Challenge yourself to recall the information related to those cues. This active retrieval practice enhances your memory and helps you retain the material better. Remember, the summary section at the bottom is a great way to quickly review the main points of your notes. It acts as a concise overview, making it easier to grasp the big picture. That's it for Cornell Notes. It's a straightforward method that can make a world of difference in your note-taking game. Give it a try and see how it transforms your studying experience. Mind mapping slash flow notes. If you love visualizing ideas and making connections, you're going to love this method. Let's get started. Mind mapping is all about unleashing your creativity and capturing information in a visually engaging way. Instead of linear note taking, we create a web of interconnected ideas. Start by placing the main topic or concept at the center of your page. From there, branch out with different lines or curves to represent subtopics or related ideas. You can use different colors, symbols, and images to make it even even more engaging. As you expand your mind map, let your ideas flow naturally. Connect different branches with lines and arrows to show relationships and associations between ideas. It's a fantastic way to see the big picture and how different concepts interconnect. The beauty of mind mapping is that it engages both sides of your brain. It stimulates creativity, boosts memory retention, and encourages a deeper understanding of the material. Mind maps are incredibly versatile too. You can use them for brainstorming, organizing your thoughts, summarizing chapters, or even planning projects. Get creative with your mind maps. Use keywords, images, and colors that resonate with you. Make it a personalized reflection of your understanding. That's a wrap on mind mapping or flow notes. It's a fantastic method to unleash your creativity and capture complex ideas in a visually appealing way. Give it a try and let your ideas flow freely. Outline. If you prefer a structured approach that helps you organize your thoughts and key points, then outlining is perfect for you. Let's dive right in. Outlining is all about creating a hierarchical structure for your notes. You start with the main topic or heading, and then you break it down into subheadings and further into bullet points or indented levels. Let's say you're taking notes on a lecture. Start by writing the main topic as the title. Then, underneath it, write the subtopics or main ideas that the lecture covers. You can use numbers, letters, or indentations to indicate different levels of importance or subordination. As you listen or read, jot down the key points, details, and supporting information under each subtopic. This method allows you to capture the structure and flow of the content effectively. The beauty of outlining is its simplicity and clarity. You can quickly scan and navigate through your notes, focusing on the main ideas or drilling down into specific details. Outlining is also great for condensing information and creating study guides. You can collapse and expand sections as needed, depending on your studying goals. Remember, the key is to keep the structure clear and logical, ensuring that each point flows smoothly from one to the next. 
That's a wrap on outlining. It's a fantastic method for organizing your thoughts and capturing key points in a structured manner. Give it a try and see how it streamlines your note-taking process. Boxing. If you're looking for a method that helps you visually organize and emphasize important information, then boxing is perfect for you. Let's dive right in. Boxing is all about highlighting and categorizing key ideas, concepts, or terms by drawing boxes around them. It helps you visually distinguish and organize information on your page. When you're taking notes, pay close attention to the crucial points that you want to remember or focus on. Grab your pen and draw boxes around those key ideas. This simple technique immediately brings attention to the most important information. You can also use different colors for the boxes to create even more visual emphasis. For example, use red for essential points, green for supporting details, and blue for examples or illustrations. The beauty of boxing is that it allows you to quickly scan your notes and locate the most important information. It provides a visual structure that aids in better comprehension and easy review. You can also use additional symbols or annotations within the boxes to further enhance your understanding or make connections between different ideas. Get creative with your boxing method and find a style that works best for you. Experiment with different box sizes, colors, and symbols until you find a visual organization system that clicks. That's a wrap on boxing. It's a fantastic method to visually highlight and organize important information in your notes. Give it a try and see how it enhances your note-taking experience. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more tips and tricks on effective note-taking. Until next time, happy note-taking!